and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach. I did some work yesterday or in the last episode, between the last episode and this one. I was doing some work on this analyzer and trying to break it up and figure out what's the best way to do it. I did move all of the descriptor stuff into their own classes, so that's done. So one of the things that we need to do is break out the diagnostics from the model because we don't want to return those well more to the point we don't want to make this unless we have to but we don't want to return null because oh wait a minute oh i just realized something we are doing the right thing so if it's not mockable then we don't actually make the model, which is a good thing. And I believe then here, oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's a little unexpected. I don't think I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> oh, I am, okay. If it's not null, then, but I'm gonna, I think, try to pull those out anyway. So, okay, so I think I can keep this because if I do find diagnostics, then I will make the model. If I don't find any diagnostics, then I do make the model. We just don't need to return now. Actually, we just need to return the model and the build type. You know, I don't think we need to, sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to break this up. We still need to return from this, the diagnostics. We don't need to return the fully qualified name. That we can get rid of. And then we do this. And then we do this. And then that. Okay. The thing is, what we have to do in the... Oh, you don't have that anymore. In the rock attribute generator is up here. We now want to just return yeah, this will work. Actually, this should be fine. So now what we want to do is say create, which returns a mock model. Except now we need to, like I said, thin it out a little bit. What we want is the build type and the type to go within one thing. So we want a mock model information. Where is this in models? Okay. So let's go into models and let's make a mock model information. And we can make this a very simple record. It doesn't have to be a big deal. And let's make it sealed record. And what we need here is the type mock model as being a type and then the build type being the build type. There. Now, actually, as I'm looking at this, you would either return all this or you wouldn't. So what we need here now is an internal mock model information, except make that nullable. And then we pull that off, we pull that off, and what we wanna do is say if it's, okay, I I had to say in my, in my head for a second, how am I gonna do this? I, I'm, I'm just slowly unraveling everything. Information, and then the diagnostics, we don't need to build type here anymore. We don't need that here anymore. We don't need that here anymore. Whoops, we do need that. We do need information equal to info. Yep, okay. So now what we need to do here is say, we're not returning the build type. If, if it's not mockable, then we say, we return a new, so it knows what that will be. Otherwise we say, 
it is a new mock model information, which should be able to take that and then the build type. And what don't you like here? Oh, so we need a new of a new. There we go. Okay. That's a little bit ugly, <laughs> but we can do that. So yeah, sometimes I like having the the type target new thing, target type new. So I can just say new, but other times it makes it a little bit hard to read. Okay, so now we've got this. We can come back to our generator. And what we want to say is we are going to return a information. And that's going to screw some things up, but we'll fix that. So we're going to get... And what are we returning from this? We are no longer... No, we are. Yes, because we still need that. Okay. So we're going to extract this out to a... No, no, no. You don't know what you're doing, do you? Well, we want this to be in its own variable. Come on. Okay, so we've got that in place now. And we want to say model.information is not null. Then what we want to do is put in that, only if it's not null. And then we're good. And we want to do the same thing in here, except we got to make sure that we're doing it as a create. Yeah, I could actually probably generalize this. So let's do that. To do probably could generalize some of this. Yeah, I can actually see how I could do it, but that's fine. Okay. So we basically want to do this. We want to return now information. And what did I grab? Yeah, the stuff inside. That's fine. And so now this is a mock model information, right? We don't report to diagnostics anymore. We're going to just grab that and stuff it over here. I'll come back to that in a second because reasons. And then we don't need to check if the type is null anymore because you either give the whole thing or you give nothing. So that washes out. And there we go. So now that's cleaned up. So this no longer reports diagnostics. It doesn't carry them around. The only thing that comes out from for attribute with metadata name is an immutable array of mock model information. I believe that's what we want. I think that's okay. I, I, there's a part of me that says, can that be, should that be an equatable array? I don't think we care because I don't think that's actually what um, we, we need to care about in terms of immutability and, and generation. So that is a question, though, that I, I go, okay, let's put in a to-do. To-do, should this be equatable array of mock model information? Ah, just fine. I doubt it, but something to check. Again, I say I doubt it because I don't think you really care that you're producing an equatable array of all these things. But there's also a part of me that goes, well, does it really matter? 
I don't think it does. Actually, now that I look at this, what comes out of collect? It is an immutable race. So what it gives here, the mock create types, is just a bunch of, yeah, take that off. Because that's what's given to us, so never mind. Okay. We have this generalized. Or no, we don't. Do I want to do that now? What I need to pass in is the name of the attribute and the build type. And the mock create types could be, what's mock create types? Incremental values provider of mock model information. Static, what is this? Incremental values provider of mock model information. There we go get information. And what we need to pass in here is a string attribute name build type build type. Okay. And then what we would say here is just oh and then we need the context. What's the context? Context is this thing. So let's make that the first thing. And then we'd say here, return. And then this would be attribute name. We need the build type to be build type. Microsoft, co-analysis, incremental values provider, rock models. Oh, so what is this? This is a values. And I made that a value. No, not there. And now, what is this going? It's declared but never used. I could make this a, and then we could say my create types is equal to get information of this and build type create. And then that all goes away. And what don't you like about this? Oh, I need to pass in the context as well. There. And then make types is this, except that, and this is a make. And then that goes away. Seems maybe a little silly to do this, but I was seeing the exact same code in two places. So let's just check this again. Build type. We don't. I don't see build type in here at all, other than what's passed in here, and then the attribute name is there. Nice. Okay. A little cleanup. Okay. Let's now go to the analyzer. So. What I was looking up last night was, how do you actually find out that you've got an attribute? And there's a couple of suggestions from a Discord server. I'm going with this one, which is you register to find an attribute and then you get the operation. And then the operation is an object creation, which you can then get the constructor and then the containing type. And yeah, we would assume that's not, because we have to have a constructor on our attribute. And then what we want to do is say, the create attribute symbol, which is what we grab from up here, has to, it, you have to give us either one or the other. In both cases, what we're going to grab, if I go back to my rock attribute generator, is here we do it differently because the context gives you attributes and that gives you attribute data. What we have to do here now is say, we need to get the var mock type symbol, and that is on the, attribute type, it is a type parameter, and it is the only one. And what does that give us? A type parameter symbol. Sorry, I thought it was just gonna be type. <laughs> it's not as simple as that. It is a type, declaring type, the type, the type that declares the type parameter or null. 
Now, this will actually be interesting if I add open generics later on because, no, 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 that's for something else. Never mind that. That was for a different thing when we actually get to the type itself. And in that case, we're actually gonna look for an attribute and we're gonna look at what's passed into the constructor. This is just looking at the type parameter for these two. I think what we want is the declaring type. And that is a name type symbol. We're just gonna assume it's that. Now what we're gonna do is come back to here and type arguments gives us a type symbol. And what do we pass in here? Oh, we just pass in a type symbol. So it could have been a type symbol, that's fine. Assuming, let's kind of do what we're doing here, except a little different. We're going to say mock type symbol. And then we also need, oh boy, context. I thought, yes, there, I knew there was a way to get to it, I just couldn't remember. Now, which one are we looking at? <laughs> I think we need to say here, var build type is gonna be, if this is true, then it's a build type create. Else, if this is true, then it's a build type make else it's a null as build type. You're not gonna be able to do that, are you? Oh, you are. And I, okay, cool. So now, if build type is not null, oh boy, we can pass that in. What are we passing in for the creator syntax node? Oh, that's right, because we need all the uh, is there a way to get the syntax node? Syntax. Yes. Boom. Done. There. And now, wait, what is getting screwed up here? We have the syntax. We have the type symbol. We have the semantic model. What? It doesn't like that? There. Okay. I mean, you got to have a sem semantic model. Hopefully that doesn't screw up too much. Here's the difference now. We're always gonna return diagnostics. If the mock model is null, so if this is null, that means we need to report diagnostics. And we say model. There, we're done. <laughs> and it's gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. Why wouldn't this work? Because I'm making all these assumptions up here and my logic is perfect and you know, nothing would go wrong with this at all. <laughs> of course, of course we're gonna add tests. Of course we're gonna do that, but that will be in the next episode. So I wanna make see, I know there were some places that I was looking at like IDs for things and, and that's all changed now. So Although I think it's in the tests. I don't think it's actually in this assembly itself. Or I might be wrong. So let's filter this so we're just seeing the rocks. Oops, I wanna see that. What would this be? This would be, you're always gonna create, you're gonna say information because if you came into here, you this is the path you wanted to go. So you just needed to add that in direction. Now that works, okay. If I come into my test though, I just wanna see, I I'm, I'm probably will do this offline if I'm thinking what I did was, was what I did. And then I say Shift F6. I think there's a lot of diagnostic text, tests that are going to break because it's looking for identifiers constants that are now in the descriptors, not the diagnostics. I do like this though because I'm basically reusing what I had before. I'm just reporting it in a different way. So I didn't have to do too much moving around, but of course I need to test a lot of things because who knows if this, what this broke. Okay, so what, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things in here like you see with diagnostics. Um, 
they just need to be moved to a different thing. So I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm just gonna clean up these things so that it builds. I'm not gonna run the integration tests just yet because I don't know what I've broken and what I haven't. It could all be completely wrong. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully when I fix this and then I shut down start up again, there are some tests that I have to do in the test project that also said if I have code in this state, I should see a diagnostic. That's not gonna happen anymore from the generator. I need to move those tests over into a test for the analyzers. So that's something I just need to change as well. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. I'll clean things up and we'll start getting into testing. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.